Shalom, all praises, honor, glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Chachwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders who played millstone and rule well, and I thought this is truth. Salutations to all the sincere Achim out there that are doing the work and they believe in Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, man, you know, to the few sincere sisters out there, Shalom as well. Um, this is going to be um, a quick video concerning the, 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 the times that we're in, man. This, this time is. Um, yeah, the time of judgment coming in, man. It is near, you know. It is near, man. So our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, so like, yeah, the Hebrew Israelites, we need to turn back to the Lord, man. And the elect will turn back to the Lord, you know. So we need to remember who we are and come back because this world is going down the drain. It's ruined. It's ruined by these damn devils, the Edomites. You know, Esau, his descendants, who are, you know, ruling right now, but they will be taken out of power, man, because the statue of King Nebuchadnezzar's dream, you know, it's it's almost done, man. It's almost done. You know, it's almost done. You know, we're in, in the toes now, so this whole thing is about to be wrapped up, man, because Yahweh Shai is coming back, our Lord and Savior. And he will come with the sword, man. And this day, when the Lord comes back, it's going to be a wrap. It's going to be a lot of death. It's going to be wailing, gnashing of thief, man. So, let me jump in. Because now, in the news, you see people, there's many uproars of the people in the world. Let me just go to a few scriptures, man. Because now... Jeremiah 16, let me go into this, verse 16. Behold, I will send for behold, I will send for many fishes, said the Lord Yahweh. Uh, say the Lord Yahweh, and they shall fish them, and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain, and from every hill, and out of the holes of the rocks. For mine eyes are upon all their ways, they are not hid from my face. Neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. So now, you know, we're, we're put out here, you know, to fish for the whole elect. But after that, you know, it's going to be hunting time, man. You know, it's going to be hunting time for the ones that are, um, you know, with Yahweh Basham Yoshai, they will be made instruments, you know, sharp, threshing instruments, as the book of Jeremiah also, uh, also says, you know, so... The people who are against the Lord, hey, even of our own people, man, in two thirds they will be destroyed, man. And the elites, we're gonna hunt them from the out, of, get them out of their bunkers and all that, you know. And when the Lord Yahweh Shai is coming, and when He comes back, look, man, it's not a day of uh, joy, or you know, sunshine and all that. You know, it's gonna be a very, uh, a very dark day, man. Zephaniah, one. Verse 14, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near. And haste it greatly. Because this this uh, time of uh, living is living in wickedness is almost done, man. You know, we are longing for a kingdom wherein dwell it righteousness, man. And where we can have peace, you know. So, and haste it greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, Yahweh. The mighty man shall cry cry there bitterly so even the mighty men you know the people who 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 um the world sees as you know big strong and you know mighty they're going to be crying in that day man that uh, that day is a day of wrath a day of trouble and distress a day of wasteness and desolation a day of darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and thick darkness a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high tower. And I will break and I will bring distress upon men. That they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord, Yahweh, and their blood shall be poured out as the dust, as dust, and their flesh as the dung. Because the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. You know, there's gonna be a lot of people in deep, deep problems, man. <laughs> Just to say it like that. You know, 
neither neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. Because when the Most High Yahweh will, uh, you know, pour out His wrath, it's going to be a wrap. No silver and gold can save you. It doesn't matter how much you have in your bank account, how you're balling out and whatever. You know, that's not going to deliver you, man. You know, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. You know, and Babylon will be destroyed. Two thirds of our people will be destroyed around the whole globe. The chariots of the heavenly Father will do blasting. You know, the hope for elect that believe in the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai, they will be in a good case. Some of us uh, 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 might have to go out, or will be going out as martyrs because the Revelation twenty and four speaks about that. You know, but we need to be faithful unto death, man, and that will lead up to what to everlasting life. You know, Revelation two and nine. You know, uh, speaks about Revelation 2, verse 9. That's like a Revelation 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, this, this, this so-called white man, shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful, unto death and I will give thee a crown of life so that's what we need to be doing man don't fear about what this man uh, what these these men can do unto you you know Esau and his uh, minions man because we are striving for that crown of life you know we want to be in the kingdom we want to have everlasting life we want to rule over our enemies man as you jump down to verse 26 you know and he that overcometh and keep it my works until the end. To him will I give power over the nation. So this is what's what's coming, man. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And so now we're gonna be ruling, and it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a lot of people being whooped and being uh you know, walking around with feathers of iron out on the field working like they never worked before, man. Continual employment is made ready for all these devils that never ever worked a day in their life, man. Or in their lives. You know, as the vessels of a, of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive from my father. And Yahweh the Zion, man. You're going to, you know, be fellow heirs of Yahweh Shai. You know, with Yahweh Shai, you know, being fellow heirs. So, receiving uh, a position to be over our enemies, you know, and to rule over them with a rod of iron. No more joking around, man. You know, and we're going to have our revenge upon our enemies because that's also a righteous thing in the eyes of the Lord. Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse uh, 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing, it's righteous with Yahweh to recompense, to pay him back the tribulation to them that trouble you. So, Seeing it as a righteous thing with Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So you're going to pay him back. All the people that, that, that persecute you, that trouble you, that distress, that causes that causes oppression. They're going to be going through some things. And the curses are already being placed upon our enemies, man. According to Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the curses are lifted up off of us and being placed upon our enemies. You know, now you see their enemy. Uh, now you see our enemies. You know, their children. You see them going to hell. You know, committing suicide, being on opioids. You know, not knowing uh, what's going on. Wanted, they want to uh, have peace, but they can't find it, man. You know, just like we can't uh, find no peace among these people. And now, of course, to the to the mercy of Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, we have that. Uh, that that um, you can pray into the Lord and have a place with Him, but these people have nothing. If this thing closes down again, you're gonna see the, the the rates of suicides going up again, man. You know, if that was a stock, if you wouldn't invest in that, you would be <laughs> wax rich. <laughs> you know, but of course, you know, labor not to be rich. You know, but just 
to uh, make it clear. These people are, are, are totally on their last legs, man. And so is this whole queen of the wicked. So, and you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not Yahweh and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai Masayah. So if you don't want to obey the gospel, you, you're dead, man. Thus said the Bible. You're going to be punished, man. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power? When he shall come to be glorified in the saints. And the saints are the, the, the children of Israel, man. You know? Who have a covenant with the Lord. And to be admired in all them that believe. Because our testimony among you was believed in that day. So... This is uh, uh, this is um, something that is for the elect of Israel, and even the two thirds are going to come back to the elect. You know, so-called nutsack Israelites, as the elder Malcolm says. You know, and many other uh, elder brothers and elders. So, still Israel will be uh, doing well, but there's levels, man. You know, it's better to to uh, you know, be with the Lord, you know, the first time around, then to wake up basically uh, to come back. You're going to come back to the elect, but, you know, there's some will be walking with their head down. All oh, we People going to know, man. People going to know. The scriptures speak about that, man. We want to be there the first time around. We want to be rewarded and receive a crown under the hands of our Lord, man. That is a great blessing and great honor uh, that the Lord has uh, bestowed upon his uh, hope for elect, you know, to be able to receive that crown and to um, basically be told, and you have done well, my servant, and that is uh, of my son. And that is because uh, now we are sons. Of course, we're serving the Lord, but we're now sons and fellow heirs through uh, uh, the mercy of Yahweh B'Shem Yahshai by the sacrifice you know, of the Heavenly Father by sending His Son, Yahweh Shai, who died for His elect, for His people, the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, So now we can be fellow heirs and inherit uh, you know, the, all these beautiful things, all the beautiful things that are, are coming in the kingdom, man. Everlasting life, being rulers over your enemies, uh, having uh, peace, you know, you sacrificing your life, of course, to the spirit and power of Yahweh B'Shem Shai, and being rewarded with a hundredfold for the things that you have lost, you know, you're going to get a hundredfold. Man, even to have, if you can get recompense, if you get one one fold or two fold, you know, it's better. Even one time is better than one time here in the, in the, in this hellhole because everything is not in the state that it ought to be. You know, a cluster of grapes back in the days were was uh, being carried by two men, grown men, and now a baby can hold a cluster of grapes. But you know, uh, so everything will be restored. The Everything's going to be beautiful again. You know, you're going to be in your right mind, serving the Lord 100%, man. You know, no more stony heart, but a fleshly heart. You're going to serve the Lord in perfection. So that means 100% blessings because you're going to do it 100% right, serving the Lord. Because the Lord will cleanse us from all our, our wickedness, man. New bodies, that's something to look forward to, man, to have rest. And to enjoy your children, to enjoy, you know, uh, uh, your land. You know, you're going to have land. You're going to have uh, uh, wives, multiple wives. You're going to have, you know, uh, a lot of children. The food going to be 100% like it's supposed to be, fruit, all that, man. So that's a beautiful life, you know, serving the Lord. So... That is what we're looking forward to, man. But first, the Lord will come back with vengeance, man. 
Revelation 1 and 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and the, the, the Lord make it his, the, the clouds his chariots, man. You know, the so-called UFOs, they are going to come back, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierce them. So the ones that, that, that were, you know, uh, saying crucify him, crucify him, and, you know, you had Pilate, you know, you know so-called wash, washing his hands. What do, you, what do you think, man? He's going to be judged. He's going to get it as well. Because all, all them Edomites, all the wicked, will have to uh, go into captivity, man. All the wicked of the heathen nations and the, the two-thirds are going to be put to death of the two-thirds of our people. In Babylon, they're going to be put to death and around the globe. You know, people will be dying, man, that don't believe in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You're either with the Lord or you're against him, man. There's no in-between, no, uh, oh, let's just uh, uh, agree to... Uh, you know, uh, disagree, you know, you eat it hot, you're cold, and you eat it in or out, man. It's no in-between. Oh, yeah, let's just uh, compromise or, you know, no, 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 no. You know, let's just, uh, you know, have a gray area. That's not working with the Lord, man. If you do that, hey, you're going to be cut asunder with the hypocrites, man. Because, again, you eat it in or out, man. So behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which spares them. So the ones that are responsible for that, you're going to pay too. And that shows you also reincarnation. Because they that pierced them, wasn't it uh, 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 like uh, 2,000 years ago when the Lord was on the scene? So reincarnation. The Lord's going to get his revenge, his revenge. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so among. It's going to be a lot of, it's going to be wailing and gnashing of thief, man. You know, the Lord's going to come back with his chariots. Let me go to the last one. Just wanted to make it short. And, you know, this is edifying Isaiah 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. So the, the UFO is going to come, man. Isaiah, Isaiah 33, the uh, the book of Second Ezra 13, speaks about the, the chariot of the Lord, man. The fathership is coming back, man. So big that the, the prophet Ezra, you know, he described the ship as a mountain, man. So with the Lord, Yahweh Shai, on top of it. You know, so it's going to be... Uh, People are gonna gonna uh, fight against it, but you're gonna be blasted up in, into powder, man. But you can read that for yourself. So, and for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So the Lord Yahweh is gonna send his son Yahweh Shai, who's gonna come with the chariots, man, with his army. So it's going to be a lot of uh, people being put to death, man. Verse 16, For by fire and by his, uh, by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord will shall be many. So for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Now it's talking through the, the scriptures, the prophets, you know, who are speaking through the scriptures of the Lord, and they are warning the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and tell them, Telling them that uh, they need to repent. That's why we make these videos and to edify the hopeful elect as well. But hey, if the ones that are filthy want to be be stuck on that uh, in that position, hey, let the filthy be filthy still, man. For the clean things are uh, for the pure things are pure, and that's what it is, man. You know, you will be numbered into the sword. Then you will be put to death. That's what it is. Thus said the Bible. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. So that is what is coming to this uh, uh, to this earth, man. You know, that is coming to this earth. Matthew ten and thirty four. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. You know. Because people are going to be divided in their households. And, you know, so it's because, because of the the truth. The truth is going to separate you from your family. But really, you need to think about what's coming. 
So who are you going to choose? Your, your, uh, uh, your family or Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man? You know, for I have come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. So it's going to be uh, people going at it uh, and, and they're not going to agree because this is uh, 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 what's coming to this earth. The truth is uh, going to have people being separated. And also, man's uh, uh, love shall wax cold, man. You know, famine will come. A lot of trouble will come. So people will be out there for themselves. But if you are with a uh, man of the Lord, you know, if you are with 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 with, uh, with brothers, you know, if you have a household that is stable because of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, hey, you're in a better case, man. But even there, he, you still need to be, uh, you know, sharp, man. Because the time that's coming is uh, very, is going to be troublesome. And your wife might flip on you, man. Your wife might flip on you when he's supposed to pressure uh, on her, man. So, but Yahweh Dazah, of course, you know, we going to make it, man. And man's foe shall be day of his own household. Gee, man's enemies shall be day of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Because you might lose your uh, father, your mother, and uh, your son or your daughters. You know? But you need to uh, choose wisely, man. Just, you know, what is it? You're going to go out to camp? Or you're going to you know, be with your, with your children, with me? You know, you're going to be studying again? You know? Certain people can't see, man. You need to, uh, you know, have that in the back of your mind. You know, but we, y'all, we see the things for what it is, man, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So we see this world is come, going down. And if you choose for your family, you know, you, you really choosing for your family is if you do this work, man, because then they might make it if you make it. And he that, and he that take it not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me so you know you're gonna go to some things man but the lord suffered so the, uh, the servant is not greater than his master the lord suffered so you will suffer as well man but you will always find a way the most i will always find a way for you to escape you know to go through them things and get out of them and get out of them and be stronger he that findeth his life shall lose it and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it so if you choose for the world, you're going to lose your life, man. But if you choose for Yahweh Basham Yahweh everlasting life is awaiting. And when the Lord returns, Yahweh Dezah, you're going to be rewarded. He that endures into the end, the same shall be saved. So with that, I would like to say Shalom.